Check this out. Corn soup at a vending machine. What up? Airplane. Let's do this thing. All right, so second leg of the trip. Stuck in Japan for a little bit. At nine o'clock-ish, I gotta go on a night bus to Osaka and then transfer that airport, but check this out. Corn soup at a vending machine, what up? So my luggage is in Seattle, my check-in luggage is in Seattle, and I'm here in Japan, so I gotta get some of these. Gotta get some undies, gotta feel fresh and clean, man. But gotta give big ups to Uniqlo right here. Coming through in the clutch. Thank you for the undies. Still sad about not having my luggage, but sushi will cure this all. So feeling good, feeling good. There's a lot to do here in Narita Airport. Uh, lots of those uh, gachapon machines will give you a random prize. So I bought one of each, one of the Eevee ones and one of the Halloween ones. Hopefully it'll turn out good. I'll show you later what it is. But uh, yeah, there's just, this is a really big airport and I'm really tired, <laughs> but yeah. Still got to get on a bus to Osaka, so I'm trying to charge my phone and get ready for that. Yeah. I'm on the bus to Osaka. It's 10 hours from here. But check it out. The curtains. Privacy. Privacy. Can't see me. 10 hours of this. 10 hours. Almost there. It's a very international city. You can hear the uh, the Chinese in the background. We can just switch languages. We just got the, the bus. That was 10 hours. Now we got to head on the last leg. Well, second to last leg. We got this rapid express train to Kansai Airport. And then it's Taiwan. Yeah, boy. It's a time. Alright, now I'm winding up here. This is the last leg before we get to Kaohsiung City. And then it's still not Tainan yet. <laughs> I still gotta take another train, but yeah. Uh, last leg in Japan before we get to Taiwan. And then another two trains and then we're there. Yay. Yay. Finally. Ah! <laughs> oh man, I've been traveling for so long. Ooh, but it'll be worth it for the team, the community. Got you. What up? Mm. So tired. Finally on the airplane to Kaohsiung. This is Peach Airlines, and this is like the tightest I've ever been on an airplane. So uh, if you're like American sized, I'm not American sized. This would be very tough. I'd be like, you know, my knees would be to like my chin. That's how. How much space I got going on here, but low cost airline, we're gonna make it work. Yeah, fly peach. We made it finally in Taiwan. That took a while, but I still don't have my bag. Don't got my bag. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I'm gonna go through customs now and do the thing. Uh, there's a lot of script I can't read, but I do have English on some things, so it's all good. We think got Vietnamese, Thai. All right, so there's a lot of people using the restroom. I'll skip even though I need to go. I gotta go, but I'm gonna go talk to Peach Airlines. Hopefully I can get my bag. They've been really good about uh, emailing me. Well, Delta has, so we'll see how that goes. Glamour. So I'm in Taiwan, what up? Let's go, Starbucks. All right, so we escaped the airport. Yay. Now we're gonna like walk around this place because luggage things. Yes. And checking out ingress. Let's see what that is. Is that a portal or not? Nope, it's a penguin. That's that's the that's a thing. It's a penguin, that's a but we're gonna hack it anyway. Because why not? Alright. Time for some food. <clears throat> so this is a situation, found the place to stay. But there was a legendary raid popping, and this is what we decided to do. We decided to kind of trespass a little bit. We're in like the secret hallways of this big building. It's huge! And uh, we're at the edge of glory. And you can apparently reach the gym from here, but I was too late to get in. But it's alright, Nicole got in, and uh, this is our situation right now. Wearing a Secret League shirt <laughs> that it, it fits well. You know, it's been washed. 
washed um, and it works it works like you know the the width of the shoulders are perfect um, but what's not perfect is I'm not in this raid but it's okay it's okay um, <laughs> I'm feeling fresh and clean took a shower it's kind of like a perfect temperature it kind of feels like Alaskan summer so but yeah this is Taiwan but not we're not in Tainan yet we're in Kaohsiung city I think that's what that's what they've been saying it like that so I'm just trying to copy it and yeah I'm just looking at the screen but I'm hoping she catches it because that'd be a really cool first legendary you know for you you know at least and she also has the uh, catch a dragon quest I have a evolve 10 water type Pokemon quest which is not as exciting but still gets to the same thing That's not happening. <laughs> oh god! It's just closed. The door just closed. Hopefully, it'll be open. Yes. Yeah. No, but I'm, I had like one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Time to get some food. Uh. <laughs> Alright, cheers here. So, okay, so, we're here, we're just, we don't know, like, my Japanese can like pick up like, oh that's pork, oh that's meat, um, oh there's something with water, but I ordered a comprehensive ramen, which looks like, you know, the kitchen sink variant of ramen, so, and then, uh, Nicole, you got the, it was the onion one, so we'll see what that means. Yeah, so, it's an adventure. The only reason we picked this place is because there's a lot of locals here and they're just like slurping it up and that's like where I want to be food wise. Where the locals are. Like when I was in Mexico one time, there's like this one spot that like looked like fancy but right next to it was kind of grungy but it had like all the locals there drinking, getting their sip on. And I went to the grungy spot. Luckily, the grungy spot was like right across the street from my hotel. It did a number to my stomach but it was so good. Hashtag worth it. Hashtag worth it. I don't have my other hand. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do and <laughs> this is ramen. I'm I've been looking for it for like food like a long time. Long time. Having a pachirisu here in Taiwan has made me the most popular kid in town. So this is the International Night Market. This is kind of a good thing that I lost my luggage because it lets us do this. Check out this night market. Lots of food here, lots of Pokemon. It's pretty, pretty banging. But my mission is to look for the uh, Long Bao. I don't even know how to sure I'm saying right. But it's like a little pork dumpling with soup in the inside. So that is, that is life right now. We already got like our milk tea, but it's very lively and it's like a weekday. We got tables in the middle there. I might be beer o'clock, man. I'm feeling that time. But it's looking pretty cool. Boy, I'm you know I got this awesome like pass. And it's just like a little highlight here, but uh, yeah. So I can use a subway with this card. And the most important part, my baby's back. Me and my luggage. We came back we're together again. I have clean clothes. Nice. We're back, baby. We're back in business. So I just want to say, this has been the greatest accidental adventure, <laughs> like in in YouTube history, probably. So you know, we got to like go around Kaohsiung. That's how you say it. Like that's how we say it. We got to do some booty stuff, drink some beer in public. Yes, I know we have some underage viewers, but you know, when you're older, that's gonna be it. You're gonna it. It's a part of life. But most importantly, back. I have clothes now. I didn't have to go to like buy some undersized clothes because like I'm kind of American size wide wise. And here, you know, I'm just happy. I'm just really happy. Can I just be happy? Let me be happy. Love you guys. You've cut off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're out of battery. Oh no, it's just a battery. Oh. It's, it's still going. 
It's just like the, the display turns off. But yeah, we're good. Be excellent. Adventure always. And see you next Grand Tour.